Well, here we are back in the car. It's negative, I don't know, 12 out today in Minnesota? Uh, windshield, maybe a little bit nippier. Yeah, nippier, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. We just saw Eddie the Eagle. It's, Eddie the Eagle, yeah. It doesn't come out for a while, so this was a, this was a big one for us to get uh, tickets to. It was a full house. Uh, a lot of people are going to compare it to Cool Runnings, and a lot of people would be uh, correct with that. Definitely, yeah. quite the night of this we saw a movie we went to cub foods did some shopping mm -hmm. for you i, I don't yeah. really remember what we even picked up but here we are um we're gonna reminisce a little bit i had no idea what this movie was going in i don't think you even saw a trailer you hadn't seen the trailer um, you yeah. know you did send it my way you made it about as easy as possible but... well I, I didn't click play for you <laughs> yeah, so we missed true. that opportunity this was a pleasant surprise, especially considering it's um, uh, January when all the shitty movies are out. Yep. Um, this was this was nice. It's a feel good movie. What camera are you looking at, by the way? Are you looking at this one or this one? I was looking in between them, I think. <laughs> <laughs> this is even more ghetto than usual. But I think if it, either of them, it's this one right here. <laughs> this car side review is very special. We're using a GoPro as the primary. My laptop, which is balancing half on the dash half in your hand and then we have my phone as a light source just blasting me in the face like a uh, filipino man usually does <laughs> <laughs> well there was christopher walken mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, small role small role yeah yeah we've got um hugh jackman hugh jackman course, wolverine yeah wolverine and then uh, bringing, pretending to be an american well he does that often it's honestly true. Well, he's, he's more american than i am really He's more of a man than I am. I suppose. He's definitely more of a He's man than actually, you are. That, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> Who's the main guy? I don't even know Eddie. I, I, I'm not sure, but he seemed very similar in looks to the real Eddie the Eagle. Oh, yeah, they did a good, Michael Edwards. Oh, thank you. They, yeah. they did a good job. Um, he did a good job playing him, I guess. I don't I don't really know what the real Eddie's like. We, we thought he had some sort of a disability. Uh, we looked him up uh, for probably two minutes, which is far more time than I wanted to spend looking up anything. Yeah, but I think purposes. he's just very quirky. Yeah, he just anything. had a lot of ticks. I mean, he definitely had leg problems. He had vision problems. Yeah. This movie is all about overcoming obstacles. This is the textbook Hollywood feel-good film. It follows all the, the staples that you expect. You know, we have the, the roaring music. Yep. Which... You got Holland Oates. Holland, which, you know what? The music is the highlight of the film. I agree. It, it brought me back to 1988. Yeah. The way the way they filmed it, the story structure, yeah. the music, the villains. The villain, <laughs> yeah. The villain is overcoming obstacles mm -hmm. and disabilities and whatnot, but there is so many of these little side characters that are just so over the top. I'm talking... Uh, His teammate, the um, yeah, well, British Olympic commissioner. <laughs> you'll, never, look like, you'll never compete in the Olympics. Who reminded me of Michael or, uh, Pullman. Bill Pullman? Bill Pullman a little bit. Really? I thought so. I didn't get that at all. Michael or, Pullman. You know, just ignore Cut everything you said. <laughs> <laughs> that movie, more than anything else, made me never want to ski. Oh, God. Or take a jump. I mean, I like downhill skiing, but I couldn't even do that, like, 10-meter yeah. jump. That, I don't even think 10-meter was an option. I think it was a 15. Was <laughs> well, the that, little... That's the one that pulls you in, but oh, yeah, the 15, ten... <laughs> yeah. Might have been 15. Well, know. what pulled me in was the uh, fantastic um, dynamic between Jackman and Eddie, the actor that I don't know the name of. The, I mean, um, essentially, Jackman was the John Candy he of was this John movie. Candy. Did we say that there was a reference to Cool Runnings Not in yet. the film? Because apparently it was the same year that uh, the Jamaican bobsled team uh, horrifically lost. Um, um, spoiler alert, they don't show up in the movie. Yeah, they don't, they don't show up. Although, you mentioned it would be awesome if there was like a... <laughs> like there was a computer generated John Candy that walks by and he's like, good luck kid. It was very 90s, it was very late 80s, very uh, early 90s as far as just the, the dressing, the music, the um, just the beats as you yeah. said. It plays out so like, mighty ducks. Like the couple montage montages. Tees. Yeah, just the beats were beat for beat. A for bar fight, yeah. of course. Had a little bit there. of Rudy-esque to it too, the Rudy. underdog. Well, there was a lot of underdog and I like, there's a lot of hugs. A lot, a lot of, of hugging hugs, to yeah. go around and I like that. I like when there's hugging in a movie. I'm mm -hmm. so sick of an uh, an achievement being made and the dismissive father is just like, meh. So what if you did this? Yep. You know, I like that. I like the spirit. I think we, you know, I think we covered. Did we cover a fair amount? Is there more that needs to be said about a film like this? I don't necessarily think so, but I think 
just so that your viewers know that it was just a fun film when it comes it is out. Fun. I wouldn't say you necessarily need to run out to the theaters to see it, but whether it's on DVD or otherwise, I would recommend checking it out. I I was there hasn't been a movie like this for me in a while, and so I think that maybe you should go see it in theaters just because you. I found myself smiling almost the entire two hours or Actually, hour and forty five minutes while I was watching the movie. Like at the end scene, yeah, I, I had a big grin on my face, yeah. and I only assumed like that if you could look at everybody's face in the theater, they also had the so. same grin. On People were laughing and smiling yep. and talking when we left the theaters. It's not, this is not a Martian. This is not a, you know, Revenant. You don't have to think too hard. No. You just go in and have a good time. You're pretty confident on how it's going to play out, especially if you know the background history of uh, Eddie, which I did not. Um, I, no, I now, was now I do. Four now or five I'm, years old I'm, at the time. I'm, yeah. glad I, I'm glad I know it now. But. It's so hard to rate these kind of movies. It is run of the mill. It is... You know everything you expect. I'm gonna go an 8.5 though. I'm gonna go higher than I said originally from the eight. Mm. I like a good true story, even if it is only 10 to 15 percent true. And QuickTime just QuickTime quit. Does that mean nothing recorded? Do you think? I don't know. Let me. <laughs> I was hoping you're gonna give it an eight because I was gonna give it an eight also for the 88 Olympics. Oh well, I can I can drop down. I can scale back for the shtick. Review scores really don't matter, though. Uh, you know, an 8.5 today is a, is a 9 tomorrow, is mm -hmm. a 7.5 the next day. It's just, I got a great feeling from this film. I can easily re-watch it. And uh, it's, you know, it's a family, it's family friendly, minus the part where Hugh Jackman uh, <laughs> pretends to have an orgasm <laughs> for far too long. <laughs> Way too long. Far too long. But regardless, other than that, I thought it was like a well-made PG-13 movie. Yeah. I mean, you don't see a lot of PG-13 comedies like this anymore. No. Alrighty, that's it. Thanks for joining us in the car. We'll see you next time.